So this is the 21st of August. Um, I just rescued a salmon and then I ate it. Sounds maybe a bit weird and I think it really is very, very weird. Um, so I, I show you this salmon came actually in a package, not a wild salmon. And there's a very sad story behind it, like something where I feel we have a lot of need to apologize to to many species and to other humans on this planet. Um, because this salmon, it was in the rubbish yesterday. I went to dig it out there. Unfortunately, that's something that is illegal. So the bins are locked and you have to be quite creative to get there. Um, which in itself is like outrageous, I think. But you know, this this like very often with stump diving, you get to eat stuff that you would never eat uh, or would never buy, like because it comes from far away country and has no, you know, it's like I don't know bananas and avocados, for example. Like they're really like buying those here in Finland is really more part of the problem than part of the solution. But it's like so normal that we don't think about it. It's uh, it's advertised, it's legal, um, and and everybody does it, kind of thing. So. And yeah, I mean like eating other animals, that's already like really, really like there's a big, big question if that is okay thing to do. And then like especially um, so-called produced animals, um, like like this salmon here comes, um, it says on the package it comes from Norway. Um, I don't really trust those, but let's say it's true. Um, then it's, it's farmed, so not wild. That means it's, it was a vegetarian. Um, because they, you know, salmon usually is not a vegetarian, but when they're farming, in a, living in a farm, they, they are fed um, plant-based diets, um, probably medications in it, and I don't know if there are hormones in it. So it's like food that already from a health perspective is like, you know, when I think only about myself, then already I maybe shouldn't eat it. Um, and then when I think about the energy input output of this food, like how much energy it takes um, to to grow this food, to transport this, um, process it, package it, store it, sell it. Like, even though salmon is like, what does it say? Unfortunately, it only says the energy it contains, 932 kilojoules and 100 grams. Yeah, so they should write on it how much energy it took to bring it there, uh, not just how much energy it takes, because that, that calculation must be positive, otherwise it's suicidal food. So anyhow, like eating this kind of food is like, I was wondering like, oh, salmon, you know, nice. Is that a treat? Um, I don't know if that is a treat to eat salmon, like like that kind of fish um, from that kind of source or background uh, where money was also involved. But I find it like the biggest issue is the, the waste issue here. Like when, when I think that th this was too much for me to eat, there's still some left and I will, eat it for sure but it's like it's too much for me um, alone and there was so much more food in this bin and like there was this package of tomatoes like small cherry tomatoes um, packed in plastic and they were all perfect except one so there was like 20 cherry tomatoes in there or something and one was like smashed and then of course the whole package goes into the bin and the bin has to be locked because I don't know why. Probably because of some liability issues. But how ridiculous is this? I mean, that's just like having a signature on the paper that you take the responsibility. So food waste are uh, here in this, like, I'm now talking Eastern Finland, a city called Joensu. But like, I would almost say like in the Western world, the amount of food waste, it's like, uh, it, it's, it's such an embarrassment um, to, to the rest of the world that I, I really feel like to apologize to everyone else where it's no question that if there's food you eat it because there are times where there's no food and when there's food you eat it whatever it is it's it's like I don't know I, I read the other day 7,000 square meters of land every person needs farmland like 7,000 square meters. 
if all this or like let's say 6,000 of these square meters were forests we would be a lot better off because forests are like very very productive in terms of biomass um, I think those ah ärsyttävä is a Finnish word like I don't know upsetting upsetting is the word yeah it's very upsetting um, but you know that's the good on the other side there's like good, it's a good reminder to to really speed it up and implement solutions like um like you know sharing solutions like olio for example amazing uh, i will put a link down in the description olio like you use these kind of apps uh, or platforms it's just a communication issue like i don't know how many apple trees go unharvested like in the moment here in this area the, the forests are full of berries there's so much food and we spend time and energy to earn money uh like make this detour via money to to buy food um it's not so clever guys i think we are not so clever in this point and and then like wasting food that comes from faraway countries That, that, that's I think that's, that's stupidity uh, it's not even like yeah that's really like going backwards um, in so many ways so yeah but there's like so many possibilities like shops could just have like a, um, a shelf on the other side of the cashier and the fridge on the other side of the cashier where you can get food that they had to sort out for their commercial reasons mostly um, and and then you could get this for free then you wouldn't even need a network of volunteers to go around and rescue the food like last year i was working in this school where every day a bucket no two buckets every day about one to two buckets of food right from the buffet table and that's probably not that was a small school like with some hundred students or so um and yeah it's just communication it's just communication and like you know once again the decision here and we can do this I, I believe that we can do this uh it's possible and it will make life more understandable easier um and i think i'm gonna finish this strange rescued salmon now and um wish you a very good time have good good times and take care bye bye